All right, wait, wait, what's up? It's uh, day eight. Here we go. <clears throat> feeling a little better this morning. Still got a bit of a cold, but uh, feeling good. Got the candles on, having a good breakfast. Boy, uh, some fun developments. First of all, not a fun development. Waking up at 3 a.m. to watch the Ducks if you watch college football. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. We're not having a good year. At the end, we had a good year at the start. But uh, uh, this is kind of fun. I got an email a couple days ago, an email from a friend, a new friend here in France, and they said, hey, your mower is broken and you don't know how to weld it. Uh, my husband can weld. And so she said, hey, maybe we could come out and help you guys. And I said, that would be fantastic. And so sure enough, um, she's coming out. Her and her husband are driving out this morning, and they're going to help me with my mower. So that's a lot of fun. That means I got to hop, though, because the place is dirty, so I got to clean it up a little bit. And also, I need to get out there and take the deck off the mower so we can get at it because it's not fair of him to have to do all that when he gets here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive the mower under the old restaurant uh, cover so we can get out of the rain, find some cardboard to sit on so it's not too cold and wet, and then uh, take that deck off, and hopefully we'll be able to get it welded and I can start mowing. All right, it's rainy out today, and so I uh, uh, figured if we're going to try to fix some more, I may as well come underneath the, uh, the roof of the restaurant here. And surprisingly, the floor is uh, wet, so I guess the water's blowing in, but here we go. We're going to try to get this thing figured out, see if we can take it apart. Never been great at this, but uh, this looks pretty straightforward. Starting with the easiest one first. All right, it's going good. Got most of the brackets off. There's our busted bracket. Look at that, just the metal broke. Now, it's not a job until you, somebody starts bleeding, so, you know, there it is. Just one to go. Uh, one, 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 two, three, four off, and one to go, and it's the, it's that tension rod. I get that spring through. Now, you'd think that'd be easy, but it's really quite tricky, so we'll get her. Just keep at it. About an hour by the time we got all the tools and got it up to the right spot and filled the tire, and here she be. It's, it's off, and that's, this is the part that broke. Hopefully that'll weld right back on. This piece is also broken, so. Yeah, got it under a nice roof here. Ready for some good welding. Kind of tempting to wash it off while it's off too. Yeah, so just got inside and noticed, uh, wow, even our inside mirrors are fogging up. And I noticed a little bit of fog on the roof too. So uh, what does that mean? I think that means, I'm not an expert, but it means open the windows. So we got everything aired out now and that should, uh, Help dry us out a little bit. Okay, so airing out the house. Look at all that water. And I uh, get to our room. Coming around here nice and easy. And what do I see going into our room? Boom! By the way, I still like that chandelier. Boom! That, apparently that blew open. So this is exactly what you don't want while you're gone. Now, fortunately, while we're gone, we normally have the interior shutters closed so um that offers a fair a good measure of protection but uh, this is exactly what you don't want so i need to go get that fixed today before it starts raining okay, this is a great day we're back in Eshmere and our friends that have apple orchards right next to our house are selling their apple juice and their apples and they're open so totally gonna support them it tastes like a million bucks okay happy day by the way can't wait to get that backsplash in we still haven't found what we want but it's going to be awesome, but oh man, isn't this so great? I just love this stuff so much. It's the best apple juice in the world. Grown right next to our house, the fields that are right outside the fence, and the, the guys are really nice guys. And and uh, so I bought a, a crate, and I was telling the guys, hey, we got lots of sanglier. Boku, tre boku, tre tre boku sanglier. Lots and lots of wild boar. So uh, they might come out and hunt them. I'm very excited, very excited. And they also threw in a sparkling apple juice, which... I do not have a lot of history with, but it looks awesome and I can't wait to try it. Instructed me to clean up a little bit and uh, we have a good vacuum, but we also picked up like a battery operated one, which is nice for, you know, just going around little spots and picking stuff up. Extra flies that have come since I swept last, that sort of thing. All right, my friend, friend James Lone was giving me a hard time saying that I'm spending more time cooking than working on the Chateau, but Honestly, when you're working, you don't want to stop working. You don't want to shoot video. But when you're cooking, you got time to do some video. And it's amazing I waited this long to do crepes. <clears throat> I mean, that's like the cheapest food ever, right? Yeah, super cheap. Just a little bit of flour, a little bit that looks like a not very well stirred flour. Oh, well, it's going to be great. This is going to be an advanced one. Going to break it with one egg, with one hand. There we go. <clears throat> so we're going to spread out. Oh, I broke the yolk. That's unfortunate. 
spread out the weight so that it cooks faster. It'll still be good, but a little better if you don't break the weight as the yolk, I think. And then a bunch of ham. This is more of a goat gallet glatt. There's that, and a little bit of cheese, and we'll be ready to go. All right. <clears throat> so normally we'd have that beautiful yolk right in the middle, but I kind of messed it up, but that's all right. I'm gonna flip this guy in here. Yeah, and it would peek out right in the middle. It'd be really nice. Mmm, tasty. And by the way, it, so far it looks like we're gonna have tons of food. 100 bucks is gonna be no problem at all. I mean, I don't know how much this is. Like, the flour is super cheap. Then eggs is super cheap. A little bit of milk. A little bit of butter. Very inexpensive. And super tasty. The classic Nutella, by the way. Great. Man, what, what a great day, but a tiring day. Great day. A great day. So much done. Yeah, so Frank and Hannah, isn't this nice? They came out and uh, and they came out and helped me with the mower. Uh, we had kind of a lovely time too. We had a little bit of tea and I uh, uh, got to know him a little bit. Uh, Hannah is American and Frank is French and um, and just super kind. Look look at this. I I uploaded. You know, it was a bit of a drive for them to come on all the way out and uh, so again, super kind and good to meet those guys. Then after that, Jeremy and his friend came over, our electrician, and um, that was good too. He's we got a couple of projects. We're gonna we're looking at uh, putting in some outlets in the laundry room, which we need. We're just using extension cords right now, and then also uh, we're also looking at putting a gate in on the front, which will be good. And then uh, possibly putting some big lights on the chateau, which I think would look like a million bucks at night. So it's the end of the day. I'm super tired. Probably was from waking up to watch the ducks at three. Um, and uh, I'm just totally ready to go to sleep, but, but a really good day. We got lots done. Oh, and fun. We interviewed four students, uh, four more potential students to come to the study abroad. So all in all, all in all, really, really good day. And I'm ready to go to sleep tomorrow. Fingers crossed. If the weather's at all good, I'm going to do drone shots. I, I can't wait. Can't wait to see the Chateau with the drone shots. Hopefully we get some sun. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Great.